Forza Motorsport 5. Now, I believe Forza Motorsport to be the most boring racing game in the world. Uh, I don't think this is going to prove me wrong. <laughs> but yeah, Forza Motorsport has come out to be one of the most boringest, just uninited uninitiative I can't say that word games ever and they are on fucking seven now they're on fucking seven the seventh one is coming out no stop right let me change the chat uh, change the title of the twitch uh Forza Motorsport 5 um, is Forza Motorsport the most boring racing game? Because I like I like um, Horizon quite a bit. I've played the I played the second one. I've only played the second one. I haven't played the f third one. Or I did I did play the demo though. Uh, even even that I think is lacking a bit. I don't think it's as amazing as anything if people said. I think the best racing game to come out in the last, or well, I guess this generation would be Drive Club. I personally think Drive Club is the best racing game by a mile. It's so good. I think. Right. Play it. Oh dear. Here we go, Forza. Oh, I need to um, flip the the thing. Flip it, flip it. You gotta flip it. You gotta flip it. You gotta, you gotta flip it. There you go. Flip it. Microsoft. This so this came out at the launch of the Xbox One. The very launch. It's a racing game. I'm guessing it sold quite well because. Racing games at the launch of consoles normally sell quite well. The, I just... Welcome to Forza oh, Motorsport oh, 5. Oh, that voice. That voice is so luxurious. Oh, I feel tingles. So, they normally start you off with quite an exciting race. Cars. Oh, it's fucking Jeremy Clarkson. <laughs> wow. But you, you understand, cars are far more than this. They are our history. They mark the moments by which we define decades. Cars are some of the most intoxicating, most beautiful things ever forged by mankind. They represent the glory of technology, the essence of freedom, and have been the weapons in some of our most gripping sporting battles. They grip us, they cheer us on. Unlike they Forza us Motorsport, they heroes. grip us. <laughs> so this is about the love of all things, four-wheeled and fast. And making it the most boring thing you've ever played in your this life. This is a shrine to power, to speed, to metal made beautiful. This is where dreams are driven. Welcome to Forza. If you think Gran Turismo is boring, you haven't played Forza Motorsport. <laughs> right. In celebration of all things four-wheeled and fast, we're heading to the cobblestone street. You didn't let me fucking read it, you son of a bitch. Unbelievable. Good racing games like... Forza Horizon, Drive Club, Burnout, uh, Motorstorm, Apocalypse. That's a fucking amazing racing game right there. Um, they're good. But these, these are not good. These are bad. Now is your chance to explore the McLaren P1 Ooh. Up close. Ooh, okay. Ooh. I'm having a crisis. What? Well, as Jeremy Clarkson would put it, 
Fucking spoiler come out. Oh. 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 Three, two, one. Right trigger to gas. Have you played a racing game before? Oh, God. The steering is very heavy. After playing Mad Max, the steering is very heavy. Change the camera angle. Woohoo! See, like, the first race is quite fun, but then after that it puts you in the most boring car you've ever driven in your life, and you, you just go through the most monotonous fucking career you've ever gone through in your fucking entire life! Okay. I used to play Forza Motorsport when it was on number two, not when it's on number fucking seven. Jesus. It was great back then because it was fucking new. You're on seven now. It's boring as fuck. Fuck! Um, they st ugh, ugh. They don't innovate at all. That's the problem. And neither has Gran Turismo. And I think Gran Turismo and Forza Motorsport are possibly the worst racing games you can play at the moment. Like, at least you've got an alternative. You've got Forza Horizon on Xbox and you've got Drive Club on PS4. So at least you've got an alternative. I'd like Motorstorm to come back. That would be nice. I'd love it if they made a remaster of Grand... Uh, what am I trying to say? Crash Team Racing. CTR. That would be amazing. We, we need a new Motorstorm. That would be awesome. I hope they make a new one. Maybe we won't ever get a new Motorstorm, which would suck. Because they're awesome. Vroom, 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 vroom. Where's the, um, where's the, uh, the UI? Why is there no UI? <laughs> oh, there's the UI. There's no, there's no lap thing. There's no nothing. Race complete. They do, oh, achievements. <laughs> Welcome to Forza Motorsport. I've I've pl I've played I've played the first one, I've played the second one, I've played the third one, and by the fourth one I was like, oh my god, my whole soul is being taken out by these games. Oh, will I? Oh, oh. Cars are becoming the most least exciting thing in the world, I think, personally. Um, I mean because. They're kind of bad for the world. Electric cars are going to be good, but cars at the moment... Cars as we think of them are bad as the world. Oh look, and now you get the shit cars. I'm going to pick up a Fiat 500 a Bath, because I like that. No, don't. I, I have already know what I'm going to pick. No, Jeremy Clarkson, I already know what I'm picking. ...to announce the arrival of their twins, GT86 and BRZ. The world rejoiced. Here, were two cars... Jeremy Clarkson, this, you, this is not what you like about cars. Jeremy Clarkson was bored out of his fucking mind doing the voiceover for this. No, they were designed to make you smile. They were small, lightweight... If Jeremy Clarkson would play a racing game, he would not fucking play this one. I can tell you that for a fact. He played, like, the Dirt games. The original Dirt games, not the new ones, because the new ones are shit. <laughs> he played Dirt Rally. He played Forza Horizon. He played Drive Club. He wouldn't play this. Because this is bought the worst racing game you can play. Is a complete screamer, and it's possible the same applies to the Hyundai Genesis. But I'm not sure, as it's only sold in Korea and the United States. Oh, oh dear. Select your first car from this I wanna, f I wanna. Oh look, so much fucking DLC. I got the Top Gear uh, car pack. Oh, I wanted a. All I wanted was a a, a Fiat 500 a Bath, and I can't have one. You lied to me. You fucking lied to me. Ugh. 
I want, I want, I'm gonna have a golf because a golf is fun. These are designs pulled from the cloud. Oh. As you use more designs, this list adapts to match your tastes. I don't like this at all. I'm not focusing on this bollocks. Oh fucking hell. Um, I just go with a color. Just go with blue. No, no, we we'll go with red. Go with red. Red. Yes, your first car is free. If only that was true in real life. This is your 2010 Volkswagen Golf R. Well, thank you, lady. This is your career. It's a normal car. It's a normal looking car that my dad sometimes drives. My dad sometimes have it. Takes you on a journey to five of the world's great racing venues. Oh, does it? I can't wait. Today, we venture to the snow-capped mountains of the Bernese Alps in Switzerland. If you haven't played Drive Club, Drive Club is fucking... It is the best racing game, I think, at the moment. Still. And it came out for like three years ago now. I still think Drive Club is the best racing game ever, ever, ever created. Of its type. Not like... Because it's more, it's more realistic, but it's still really fun. That's the problem with Forza Horizon. It's realistic, but boring, whereas Drive Club is realistic, but still really, really fun. Oh, yes, I am. Real people. The best racing game is Twisted Metal. It's not really a racing game, Twisted Metal, is it? It's more of a bash cars together game. Bash cars together game. Oh, I can't wait to drive in my really slow golf now. <laughs> oh, yay. Here we're going to go very slowly round corners. See, there's the, there's the UI. Look, it's all there now. And turn. It's fucking breaking for me. I'm not that fucking stupid game. Jesus. How do I... How do I... Quit the... Qu I'm quitting this race. I'm quitting it. I'm qu fucking quitting it. The, the break is breaking for me. It's breaking for me. I'm not fucking joking. It's fucking breaking for me. I, that's how dumbed down the Forza series got. Fucking hell. Let me fucking... You have a message from turn 10. What the fuck are you doing? You're supposed to be playing the game. I want to continue my continue career. Yes, do it. Today, Shut up. To I get it. Shush. Yes. Okay, come on. Turn off auto braking. Why is auto braking on? Fucking hell. It shouldn't be a thing because it makes you worse at playing the game. If you play with it, you're never going to get better. Fucking hell, the loading times are a fucking joke, aren't they? Jesus. Right. Driver assists. Turn off the assists. Shush. 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 Right, assists. I get it. It's not a realistic simulation, my ass. Put it on. Put it on. Breaking. Hard. Put hard. There you go. Do that. Right, start race. Hopefully now, it'll work. Without breaking for me. That'd be nice. I don't need to break. I'm in a fucking golf. <laughs> it doesn't go fast enough to the point where we need to break. Ooh, look at it. It's red. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Get out of the way. Get out of the way. The problem with these racing games is that they, everyone just gets in your way. Get out of the way. Out of the way. 
and out the way. Get out the way. No, oh, sorry, but you are my brakes. You are always my brakes. Good pass. Good draft. <laughs> you're two years old and you need to be fucking told what you're doing is good at all times. Perfect pass, even though you smashed into them. <laughs> See, Drive Club doesn't have any of this. Drive Club is a pure racing game. This is not. This is bollocks. This is bollocks. This is utter bollocks. And I'm going to get so much hate. So much hate from Forza people. From Xbox One people. Like, don't tell me the, the, the brake line is never right either. It tells you to brake way too much. You don't need to brake anywhere near as much as it says. I just, it's better off, it's a, it's a better idea just to turn it off. Because it lies to you. That it lies to you. I've been driving in my car. Boom, 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 boom. It doesn't go very far. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, look at it. It's so fun. Yay. <laughs> go back inside. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Rewind. No. No. Why did you ever put that in the game? You ruined, ruined fucking racing games by putting the rewind button in it. Fucking hate you. Yeah, Driver San Francisco is one of the best racing games. And it has an amazing story. A racing game that has an amazing story. What? Yes, it has an amazing story mode. It's not very long, but it is amazing. Go play Driver San Francisco. Go right now, buy it. Somehow. Can you buy it anymore on Steam? I don't think you can buy it on Steam anymore because of, like, the music. If you haven't played Driver San Francisco and you like racing games, you need to play it right now. Oh, God. I'm trying to look at... Oh, there goes the glass. I'm trying to look at chat and drive. Don't look at chat and drive. It's dangerous. Don't live stream and drive. People live stream and drive and then they die. <laughs> That's what happens. Because <laughs> they fucking crash at like 500 miles an hour. So exciting. I'm fucking miles ahead. I haven't played Driver Parallel Lines. It's actually... It was only like two quid. I should have bought it. It was two quid on Uplay. Not long ago, I should have bought it. Because I'm a huge fan of the Driver series, even though it gets a bit of hate. Because the third one was released in a really poor state, but as a kid I didn't know that. I just fucking loved the game. Here we go! Here we go! We're gonna win! We're gonna win! Yes. Play some retarded music. No. Is there? A, there's no. Ra See, there's no radio mode. You can't put the radio on when you're driving for some reason. Your car is beat the fuck up. What happened? You got gold. Yay! I got a bonus because of my assists off. Race one of five. It's so boring. It's such a slog. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Like, compare the driving in Mad Max to this. 
You can also see who your next rival is. Press X to go right into rivals mode against them. Apparently I can level up faster. What does that mean? Wow. Wow. This fucking microtrans... Uh, another reason to fucking hate this piece of shit of a game. F fucking... Is he, are these microtransactions? Did I just buy that? I just bought that with tokens. Is that is that actual microtransactions? How do I... Buy tokens. Yep, look. <laughs> 65 pounds. 65 fucking pounds. Yeah, just what I want in my fucking racing games. Brilliant. Another reason to hate this. Another reason to hate it and shit all over it. Today we travel to Dunfolding to Top Gear TV show Top Gear and their famous Top Gear. <laughs> <laughs> Top Gear. We all love Top Gear because they don't take driving seriously. They don't. They they realised very early on that just talking about cars is really boring. So they went to all these crazy places and did really stupid shit around cars that had cars in them, but not just driving a car on a track because that's really fucking dull. <laughs> that's why Top Gear got better and better and better. Oh, oh hello, Jamie Clarkson again. Modeling techniques and a large airfield in Surrey, we have constructed this perfectly accurate recreation of driving in England's historical capital. Construction signs, closed road lanes, rubbish bins, you'll have to avoid all these traditional London milestones in the Top Gear London Simulation Challenge. <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> okay. Is it the Stig? Yeah, Top Gear got better and better and better and better and better and better as it went along because they didn't give a shit. That's why it got better. Oh, this is a great starting point. Oh my god. Look. <laughs> they put cardboard cutouts of Big Ben. Oh my god. Wow, okay. This is actually kind of funny because they're not taking themselves seriously at all. <laughs> what the hell? Well, they're in black and white. They're in fucking black and white. We're going under London Bridge. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, oh, I just crashed. And re rewinding. Oh, no. If that fucker, player, 82274978 hadn't gotten in my way, I would have gone fucking right round it. Would have been fine. Get out of the way. Go! Where's the hammerhead? Is, was that the hammerhead? No, that wasn't the hammerhead. This is the hammerhead coming up. Oh god. Who put all these bins here? Whose idea was it? Oh fucking hell. The hammerhead. Oh Jesus. Get out of the way! Just get out of the way! Oh my god, look at that fucking golf with the Hulk on it. Oh my god, it's... Woo. You're ruining cars. You're ruining everything. Right, we're going through the follow-through. We're going off, off the grass, onto the grass, hitting a camera, killing people. <laughs> try, try, we'll rewind it a bit more. Get out of the fucking way! This is the problem with the AI in these racing games. They just get in the fucking way. Where's the fucking racing line? I can't see the fucking luggage. Oh, God. Oh, fucking hell. Where am I going? Where am I going? Where am I going? Oh, my God. I, I turned way too early. Michael Gambon's corner. Oh, God. <laughs> Crashed through fucking Parliament. <laughs> wow. There's, there's another lap, though. There's another lap. There's another lap. One more lap. Oh, shit. The Audi's coming past. Look, there's the, uh... The, uh... The, 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 
the hamster wheel. <laughs> I complete the London Eye. That's what it's called. I forgot what it was called for a second. I've been on that. I've been on the London Eye. Not that one, because that one's made of cardboard. Oh, God. Through the chicane. Oh, oh God. They're, they're quite... Yeah, they're real. <laughs> they're quite hard to hit. All these bloody boxes. Boxes. Bins. Wow, look at that fucking AI. That is real player AI. Just crashing. <laughs> the fucking music is like... Like we're in a fucking action movie or something. It's ridiculous. Through the follow through. Break. This corner is scary. It's a real scary corner. Oh, smashed into that. Thanks, thanks for ever left that there. It was me. <laughs> I caught it. It shouldn't be on the track. Someone should have moved it. Through Michael Gambon. This corner. And across the finish line. <laughs> yes. Friends to the end. I don't know what that was about. Start your engine. My kind of car. I've got badges. I can put a badge on me. Oh, Achievements. My kind of car. We've got three more races to go. <laughs> oh, holy hell. Every time you level your car's manufacturer affinity level, you increase that manufacturer's payout bonus. Oh. Each race you run in that brand of car earns you bonus credits based on its affinity level. Oh, thank you. The only way to make these that make these types of racing games fun is by having an actual steering wheel and have like a a, a chair that simulates all the bumpiness and vibrations. That's the only way you can make these fun because these are not fun. These types of racing games are not fun at all. Leaving Top Gear full. Today, we travel to Yas Island. Yas? Man-made? Man oh! Yas Marina Circuit. <coughs> I'm, ch I'm dying. <laughs> this game is killing me. <coughs> oh. The game is killing me with the boredom. <coughs> Oh god. Uh, I'm alright. It's fine. The loading times as well are a real pain. 13 corners. Alright, let's start it. Oh, yeah. Fucking The new Gran Turismo is coming out. <laughs> that I, but it's called Gran Turismo Sport. It's not even called Gran Turismo 7. So, they, I, something tells me they've completely given up on that franchise. It's going to be probably poop. Really poop. Really, really poop. I'm playing against players. Real life players. Who drive like cunts. <laughs> Oh god, don't just break! They break for no fucking reason! And you just go smash into the back of them! Stop breaking so much! Fucking hell! Uh. Oh, it's so, it's so, it's so... Uh, well, it's so satisfying. <laughs> To overtake someone. Vroom, 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 
Vroom, vroom, vroom. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Number one's quite far ahead. Get out of the way! Get out of the fucking... You're supposed to... In real racing, you're supposed to let someone through, you prick! You've got to let the person going faster than you fucking through. Unbelievable. I always like this camera angle, to be honest with you. Oh! Off the track. Back on the track. Get out of the way! Don't just fucking block me, you prick! Right. That's the first lap. No, 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 that, that was the second lap. Yeah, good. Thank God. Oof. Yay! <laughs> oh, we did it. We did it. Your car is beaten up to shit because other drivers just break in front of you for no reason. We've got two more races to go. <laughs> two more race, two more. Ra I think I should have picked a different car. <laughs> Made it a bit more fun. The next event takes place on the steep inclines of the Mount Panorama Circuit. In Australia! It's in Mad Max's area! Yeah! <laughs> Mad Max! Okay, bye. <laughs> See ya. We'll be back with Mad Max tomorrow. <laughs> With actual fun driving. But I'm just going to sit here and slowly, very slowly, finish these last two races. <laughs> oh my goodness. The fact that these... I mean... Horizon is great. I don't think it's amazing. I don't think it's as good as anyone says it is, but I think it's great because the, the, the driving is fun. I don't understand how these get away with just being just so dull. There's no excuse for being dull. No excuse for being boring. That's the worst sin a game can, can make, is being boring. Look at, uh, look at what the game's dissolved into. All these fucking decals. All looks like awfulness. Look, like GTA. Ugh. Like, you make these beautiful cars look fucking ugly as shit by putting a horrible decal on it. Oh, spinning a bit there. In a bit tight. I would have probably gone for a BMW if I hadn't have gone for the Golf. Out of the way! You make the slightest touch, the slightest contact, and the game's like, Rewind! Rewind! You're not playing it perfectly! Rewind! Rewind! Play it perfectly! Rewind! Who's this up ahead? Oh. 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 And the screeching of the tires is fucking horrible. Oh, it's horrible.
It's me and him. Just me and him left. No one else has got a chance. It's just me and him. He's in a lot faster car than me. Much faster. A lot faster. Do -do 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 -do. Oh god. Break. Oh god. It's so awful. I can't stand this game. This series anymore. Ugh. How is this exciting to anyone? The music is trying to make it out like it's some epic fucking thing, but it's not. It just isn't. Good turn! <laughs> well done! You did good! You're an Xbox One gamer! <laughs> I'm gonna get hate for that joke! Oh, you coming through, are you? Where did you... Where did you come from? You're not even the person... It's fucking... Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Show your name. It won't show the name anymore for some reason. It's one of my friends. It's one of my friends, um... Driver Tars. So that's why it's doing better. Vroom, 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 vroom. Slight drift around that corner. Oh shit! <laughs> Oops. Oh dear. Rewind that. Just rewind it. Keep, keep going. Right. Get back in the car. Get back in the real seat, the driving seat. Oh, it's so horrible to drive in this game. It's so... It feels awful. Oh, there's an Audi there as well. Whereas Drive Club, the driving is so good. It's so good. Right. Like, they supported Drive Club with a shit ton of DLC, which is good, but it was a bit much, especially for me, especially if you didn't have any of it. I joined it late. I didn't play Drive Club until, you know, like a year after it came out. So they already had all this DLC, so it was a bit, bit much. Um, but I hope they do make a Drive Club 2, maybe. They made Drive Club Bikes, which is like an expansion, but I never played that. Didn't play that. Oh, we're about to finish! Uh, across the line. Oh, so exciting. So exciting. Achievements! Achievements. You're beating the fuck up again. What keeps happening? You can't keep repairing your car. Right, two driver level. Nice. 35,000 credits. God, it's so slow as well. Come on, come on. Be snappy. Right. One more race. One more race. Where is it? Today's event takes us to Sebring International oh, okay. Raceway in Highlands County, Florida. Home of the famous 12 Hours of Sebring. I remember this track. If I, if I remember. Yep. I remember that corner. That corner. That bumpy corner. Oh, those were the days when I played these games 
when I was a kid, when I was dumb enough to play him. Because <laughs> I've played hundreds of hours of Forza Motorsport, but it's it's bad. It really is bad now. It it I mean, for someone like me, I think it's bad. Signature events are tailored to your Ooh. Car. Hitting you against iconic rivals, Ooh. engaging you in technical spec races, Ooh. or entering you in manufacturer showcases at key locations throughout your career. Ooh. Right, um, let's go. Let's finish this, motherfucker. Let's finish this so I can go to bed. <laughs> I'll sleep easy after playing this. Look at that. That's another golf right there, I think. An old one. Get out the way! You hit someone. Well, they fucking went into me, for fuck's sake. You need to get out of the way of the person who's a lot faster than you. Doesn't break anywhere near as much as you. Because you don't need to break that much. You should just turn it off, the line. It, it makes you a, it makes you a worse player. <clears throat> Having the assist line on makes you a worse player. It just does. I think Forza Motorsport went down a weird line where it just tried to please everyone and just became a really dull game and it really suffered for it You made slight contact. Rewind immediately. Oh, that fucking sun. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> Must be as realistic as possible. Blinded by the light. They need the music, and the music is really bad. Gran Turismo always had good music, so at least that helped, at least with the earlier ones from 4 down. Um, but Forza never had good music, so at least Motorsport didn't. So it just made racing really boring. A, a good soundtrack can make or break a racing game, it really can. Here we go, bumpy road. Oh god. <laughs> bumpy corner. Yeah, the mute the soundtrack just is already on my nerves. It's really bad. In fact I just turn it off. Turn can I turn it off? Is there no way you can't Audio, here you go. Uh, put the master game volume up. Put the in-race music off. Uh, subtitles on. Um, it's actually coming through my headphones, but apparently I can't do that. Mm. There we go. I turned the music off, didn't I? And it's still I can still fucking hear it. I can hear the drumming. <laughs> it won't go away. Perfect turn. I turned the fucking music. Did it not save anything? It didn't save it. Oh my god. What the fuck? Accept. There you go. You've got to press accept. Pressing back cancels it. There we go. Now I can just hear the, the roar of the engine. 
That's what I prefer to having terrible music. Oh god. Those brake sound effects are sound awful. It's even worse when you can hear it directly into your ears when you're wearing headphones. Fucking hell, it's like... It's like nails on a chalkboard. The only thing, the only reason I would even pick up the new Forza game would be because of the fact that they've added trucks to it. Because I'd like to see how they handled. That'd be quite fun, I reckon. I like trucks. I liked trucks when I was younger. I like driving my trucks in video games. I was like, oh, I love driving these big 18-wheeler trucks. Everyone loves Euro Truck Simulator, so they've got to put trucks in their game. New badge, I've got a new badge, I can wear it proudly. Again, it's all banged up because no one gets out of the fucking way. <laughs> oh my god. But that confirms to me that Forza Motorsport is 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 one of the most dullest, boringest, worst racing games you can play. The other being probably Gran Turismo now, but I haven't played Gran Turismo since like 4, so I think 5 and 6 were pretty poor, I think. So yeah. Play good racing games like Drive Club or Forza Horizon. Not ones like this that are so dull they make you want to stop playing games forever.